Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today we're going to be talking about the SA-58 OSW Battle Rifle in Battlefield Hardline. The reason why I wanted to do a video on this specific battle rifle is because I think it is one of the best. It offers the highest damage per second out of any of the battle rifles out there, and it also has a lot of other really amazing features. Now I've been using the SCAR-H and the SA-58 OSW as I alternate between criminals and cops, trying to decide which one I like the best, and I have to say the SA-58 OSW has a lot of things going for it that I think I prefer over the Scar H. Now in balancing this weapon it's kind of hard to see where the developers wanted to give this weapon a downfall. It's already got the highest rate of fire for any of the battle rifles at 650 rounds per minute. This might not seem like the fastest rate of fire but battle rifles do 43 damage maximum. That's per shot up to 20 meters away. This means you can almost two shot somebody in CQB. If they've even had a little bit of damage done to them, you can easily two shot them. If you get a shot in the head, you're guaranteed a two shot kill. Now, of course, one of the downfalls to a slower rate of fire weapon is the fact that you're putting less lead out there. So there's less opportunities to actually contact with your opponent. And when there's people in close quarters moving around you quickly, you have to be precise with this weapon. I actually ran around somebody the other day as they dispensed an entire magazine from this weapon at me, missing pretty much every single shot. The minimum damage is getting upgraded to 25 after the next patch, which means you should be guaranteed a four shot kill at range, provided that you're not shooting people in the legs. Now let's pop up the SimThick stats here and look at some of the crazy awesome statistics for this gun. The first thing that you'll notice next to the orange rounds per minute is 840 meters per second on the muzzle velocity. This is insanely fast. I don't even know any guns in Battlefield 4 that had a muzzle velocity this high, let alone hardline. This is the fastest shooting gun in Battlefield Hardline. That is, the bullets travel faster than any other weapon. That's including bolt action, sniper rifles, and whatever else you can think of. This doesn't actually make a whole lot of sense in terms of the type of bullet that this gun is shooting, or the length of the barrel, or really anything for that matter. I'm not sure why they gave it such a fast muzzle velocity. Perhaps that's a little bit of a typo, especially considering that the Scar H has a 410 meters per second muzzle velocity, uh, less than half the muzzle velocity of this weapon. So it just seems weird that a gun that is so similar in many ways to its other battle rifle counterparts has such an insanely high muzzle velocity by comparison. It actually does make me think that this might have been a little bit of a mistake. Now we've also got an incredibly fast reload time of 1.8 seconds for the short reload, 2.5 seconds for the long reload. This again makes it the fastest reloading battle rifle of the bunch. So let's see what we have here. The fastest rate of fire, the fastest muzzle velocity, and the fastest reload time with the exact same damage model as the other battle rifles out there. Kind of hard to see why I would want to use any other battle rifle other than this one. Now you would think that maybe the recoil is going to be insane because that's the only way they can balance out this weapon. Nope, I would say the recoil is pretty much on par with the Scar H in many ways, probably tied for some of the lowest recoil of the battle rifles out there. So it's hard to see why you would want to use any other battle rifle than the SA-58 OSW. I still do like the Scar H a lot. I think it's very similar in performance to this one. Perhaps the Scar H is slightly easier to manage recoil. It's hard to say. I think they're so freaking similar as it is, but uh, this is certainly an incredibly good battle rifle. And honestly, I think Visceral probably needs to either look at increasing the performance of the other battle rifles or lowering this performance, perhaps in the next patch to give you a little bit more variety out there. Now let's talk a little bit about how to use battle rifles or what they're good for. They're kind of an interesting beast. They do massive damage per shot. They have smaller magazines. Generally, the H car still has a 30 round magazine, but it, it shoots so slow that it's hard to take advantage of that really. And the recoil seems to be a bit on the higher side which at first might make you feel like they're not really much for being precision weapons because they're just recoiling like heck. It makes it very hard to hit anybody at longer ranges. Once you start to unlock some of the better attachments for these guns like the compensator and angled foregrip you can actually be much more precise with these weapons and start dropping people at further and further ranges. It's just hard to notice when you first pick up these weapons and I think that that's kind of a mistake with the weapon design in general. Uh, guns shouldn't be impossible to use when you first grab them. They should actually be somewhat decent 
when you first start using them and then get better as you start applying the attachments. But anyway, if you put in the time with these weapons, you get 90 kills so you can get your under barrel attachment and your barrel attachment. You will start surprising a lot of the assault rifle users out there so you start to out damage them. Now without question, the enforcer class is much more powerful when you're playing around your teammates for multiple reasons. One, you can't heal yourself. So being close to operators where you can either steal med bags from them or just operate off of the med bags they throw down will help you get back up to full health. It'll also give you more points when you're dispensing ammo and giving it to your teammates. So you have the obvious team benefits there, but if you're playing with teammates and you're grouping up on enemies, if your teammate does even a slight amount of damage to your foe, you can now two shot them. So this battle rifle becomes so much more effective when using around teammates who are doing at least a little bit of damage to your opponents. Uh, in close quarters, when you still have to three shot kill your opponent, you are going to be slightly out damaged by a lot of the PDWs and the assault rifles out there. But even if a little bit of damage, say a tiny bit of grenade splash damage hits your opponent, all of a sudden you're at a two shot kill situation and you can down people insanely fast. Now surprisingly, the hip fire on these weapons isn't too awful. Your moving and shooting accuracy is nothing particularly great though. So I would not recommend trying to run these weapons as primarily hip fire weapons. They're just not going to hold up as well in the long run ADS whenever possible. Now, I would like these guns to generally stretch out to longer ranges. They are battle rifles. They shoot higher caliber rounds than assault rifles. So in theory, you should be a bit more effective at further ranges. The recoil from these makes them a little bit trickier to use at those further ranges. If you practice enough with them though, you can be accurate. Some people like to shoot these weapons in semi-automatic mode and kind of use them like DMR style weapons. My issue with this is that they drop off to 24 damage, even if they drop off to 25 damage. It's still a four shot kill at range, not particularly effective. So I like to use them in full auto mode. And if you use the angled foregrip on there as I do, it's going to cut your already low first shot recoil down even further so that you're basically gonna have two very, very accurate shots in full auto mode. And this will allow you to down people at range pretty, pretty nicely. Now the enforcer class has a lot of brawler style characteristics. Your first upgrade can give you faster throw ability so you can check those grenades out quick you can dispense ammo and always make sure that you have plenty of ammo which means you can take a lot of shots that you're not necessarily feeling like you're gonna hit basically use your ammo as freely as you want to because if you're running with an ammo bag you'll get as much as you want and you will run out of your battle rifle ammo fairly fast so I recommend running with an ammo pack. You can also use that riot shield. I love running the riot shield on my back just in case somebody sneaks up behind me, especially with the current status of TDM spawning. There's gonna be people behind you all the time. I can't tell you how many times the riot shield on my back has actually saved my life. Perhaps when they start messing with the spawning system a little bit more, I won't run with it as much and I can be free to use other things like gas mask and gas grenades. That's a great thing to run with the enforcer class, especially when you get that quick throw ability. Now you get that sort of broad effect and a little bit of damage from those gas grenades can allow you to again two shot your opponent so that again will work really well in harmony with the battle rifle anyway the SA-58 OSW is a beast of a weapon my favorite battle rifle so far I would not be surprised if visceral is gonna nerf this weapon or at least make the other battle rifles better in comparison we already know the HK and H car are getting some upgrades to try and compete so as always guys thanks for watching and I'll see you next time this is level cap Signing off.